Questions for uh, Coach Trailer, JJ? Hey, Jeff, Lorenzo was just telling us you guys had an emphasis on, I guess, the middle eight. Can you tell us a little bit about that and how you guys prepare the, the players for that? Yeah, middle eight, just uh, a term we refer to. It's the four minutes right before halftime and four minutes right after halftime. A lot of stats have gone into that about the momentum going to the locker room and the momentum coming out of the locker room. Uh, we gave the analogy that we're in the eighth practice. We're right in the middle of our 15, right? So it's a great time to talk about the middle eight. In life, it's always easy to start out great. I mean, you know, you look at football season, everybody's excited those first four games. You get to that last month, everybody's pretty excited, those last four. But those four in the middle have so much to do with how your season goes. So uh, it's just a, a great teaching point. And uh, we had a, another great practice today. And I know I say that every time, but our kids just keep doing it. I mean, they, they bring juice every day. They're attentive in their meetings. They take the field with energy. They practice the purpose. And uh, just another great practice today. Of course, it was nice outside. The weather was really co was cool and had a nice breeze. So it was pretty easy to practice today. Speaking of bringing the juice, we, one of the parts of practice we get to see when we go in there is the warm-up with Coach Philo. And he seems like he brings it every day. What, what's it like, you know, just working with him? He's the absolute best. He's just – he's done everything I've ever asked him to do. Uh, he's a, he's a humble, humble servant, uh, that, that he serves those kids, man. He loves children and he's tough and he brings juice and, uh, he's just, he's just a blessing. Our players know that we know that. And, uh, I can't say enough great things about Ryan Filo and his staff. His staff is just like him. Uh, they pour into our children and, uh, they have a huge, huge, uh, uh, importance of how, why our kids have so much energy. And uh, it fires me up when he does his little uh, Ric Flair impersonation. We break out of there with that. Woo! I love it. Okay, Greg. Yeah, Jeff, we've talked about that, that strength and conditioning component a couple of times. Now that you've gotten to see a bunch of practices, you're about halfway through. How much of a difference is it making on the field in terms of just the, the performance and the level the guys are able to compete at? Yeah, we just look so much faster. We're so much more lean. I mean, uh, I could I could pick so many different players to talk about uh, that their bodies are just they're transforming right in front of my eyes. Uh, Zakari's gaining muscle. Josh Atkins is just slimming up. Uh, looks so much more lean. Chuck looks so much more lean. Uh, Jamal Liggins filling into his body. I mean, it's just I could go through each kid. Uh, and I know I chose to say those four kids, but there's so many of them. Everett Ornstein, our kicker, who's kicking it eight yards in the back of the end zone right now, who could barely kick it, you know, to the end zone last year. Just a lot of that has to do with Ryan Filo and his strength staff and really grateful for Christian Nesbon and Dex and all those guys. I mean, they, they really work hard for us. I want to pick your brain about a couple of the guys we're going to talk to here in a minute. Just maybe we haven't touched on them in our conversations with you yet this spring. So, uh, you know, Oscar Cardenas is one that's coming in here. What, what kind of jumps out about what he's been able to do or his performance through the spring and what he brings to your team? I'll take uh, all the Oscars I can get, brother. He's a ball play in Jesse. He's humble. He's tough. He's physical. He's fast. He can catch. You know, he's a coach's kid. Uh, He's just I – mean, he's what you're looking for when you're looking for a tight end. And he's young, thank goodness. I mean, you think he's a veteran the way he practices. Uh, I mean, and I, and I love tight ends. Uh, it's, we have one of those rare staffs. Uh, you know, I, I've coached tight ends in college. Barry Lunny Jr. has coached tight ends in college. My brother has coached tight ends. Justin Burke has coached tight ends. You know, we have four coaches in our staff uh, that have all coached tight ends in college. Uh, so the tight end takes a huge emphasis in our offense, and Oscar's the epitome of what you wanted a tight end. He's obviously stood out because of his blocking quite a bit, but what, what sort of steps can you take to make him a more dynamic receiver, if any? Is that a focus for you guys? He already is one. He's got soft hands. We just got to put the ball on him. I mean, he can run. He can catch. He can do it all. He's the epitome of what you wanted a tight end, and uh, he's a great ball catcher. How about Makai Hart? Has he taken some steps forward on the offensive line since last year, or what's different from him? Yeah, I love Makai. He was a key, key recruit for us when we got him. Uh, you know, Maddie and Kai, uh, his daughter is just – she's a beautiful girl. And we, recruited, we recruited all three of them, honestly. And we recruited Maddie, we recruited Kai, and we recruited Makai. He's just a, a humble, humble spirit. 
who's a really good football player. You know, our starting right tackles an All-American in junior college. And it meant a lot for me that he trusted us enough to take care of his family and him. And uh, they're good people. And he just keeps developing. Uh, he's a leader up front now. He's not, he's not, he's pretty soft-spoken, but he leads. Him and Maka lead in a similar way. They lead by example. And um, I, I'm really excited about our offensive line, the potential we had to be, I think, dominant up there. Uh, I just had to talk with those guys about that a while ago, but Mikhail will be instrumental in all that happening. And then Trevor Harmonson's another one. He was kind of a, an important fixture for you guys in the middle at that linebacker position last year. Where, where does he go from here? Or how does his game continue to step up? I've told Trevor forever I'll be indebted to him. We just, you know, we hadn't hardly any backups at all. Uh, and he played in every game last year, every game. Didn't miss a game. And uh, he had a lot of juice today. Uh, he's really curtailed a lot of his off-field issues, just silly, petty stuff. Uh, he's done a much better job of that. He's not perfect yet, but he's getting closer and closer. And I actually bragged on their group today. I went in their meeting room today, and I'm so proud of that room. Uh, we've got, you know, we're now at eight scholarship linebackers in that room right now, and they're all getting better. Uh, we feel really good about all those kids and their uh, development. And Trevor has a lot to do with that. I want Trevor to take the lead in that room. And uh, I'm challenging him to do that. And I hope he will step forward and do that. We listened today to a guy that spoke. And I loved what they said. And I'm going to challenge Trevor. And if you're going to lead the orchestra, you got to turn your back to the crowd. And uh, that's where we got to get with Trevor. What, is that, what does that expression mean to you? How do you sort of uh, put that into context for him? Uh, well, when you're a leader, you can't just go with the flow. I mean, the leader of the orchestra, man, his back's to the crowd, right? He's not – you got, you got to be different. You can't be like everybody else if you're going to lead. And uh, I'm really challenging him to do that. And uh, slowly but surely, he's buying into that. But uh, last, last year is last year. So even though I'll always be forever indebted to him, uh, he doesn't get any free passes. Uh, I'll just always say thank you and let's keep getting better. Anything else for Coach? All right, thanks. We'll get some more players in there. In a second. Appreciate y'all. See y'all, man. Thanks, Jeff.